Mr. Chairman, last night and most of yesterday, we saw a very unfortunate situation take place on the House floor. Discussions, anger, tempers, and very little on the substance of the bill or the work of the committee. I rise today to remind ourselves of the work this committee has done in a bipartisan fashion before we came to the floor. I've been a member of the Homeland Security Committee since it was formed. So has Mr. Price, Mr. Edwards, Ms. Royal Allard. I know for certain that on the other side, our former chairman and ranking member, Mr. Rogers, has been a member since the creation of the committee. And from day one, the committee has taken its work very seriously. This year, under new leadership, the committee continued to take its work seriously. When you consider that we held 20 hearings plus a couple of field hearings, over 50 hours of public hearings, decisions, information was not gathered in private. These were public hearings. Over 70 witnesses came before us, both from government and folks who have the knowledge to advise us on these issues. During those hearings, every member was treated fairly, and in fact, one of the highlights, I think, was the way in which Mr. Price worked with uh, Mr. Rogers and the way that Mr. Rogers continued to play such an important role at these hearings in presenting his views, his knowledge, his expertise. That kind of bipartisanship, that kind of presentation, that kind of work led to the bill that we have before us. It is one of the few bills in this House where those of us who are part of the committee know well how serious the issue is and how much we have to do to try to assign the proper dollars. When the bill left committee, there was, of course, a few disagreements, but there was a bipartisan belief that we were doing that which we were challenged to do, that we were asked to do, which was to put forth a bill that secured the homeland, that protected the homeland. Yet what we saw yesterday did not speak to that at all. What we saw yesterday was personal attacks. It was discussions about issues that were not involved in this bill. Interestingly enough, the number one decision yesterday was to attack earmarks. Yet Mr. Rogers said a president which is followed by Mr. Price, that if there's a bill that does not deal with earmarks, it is this bill. Now, that needs to be repeated. Of all the bills to pick on to deal with the issue of earmarks, this is the wrong bill. This was something instituted by Chairman Rogers and continued by Chairman Price on a bipartisan level, that this is so serious, this issue at hand, and these dollars are so serious and so dedicated in the way they're appropriated that the earmarking process perhaps should not play a role at all. And it hasn't up to now. I assure you. Otherwise, I would have been to Chairman Rogers and gotten something in the last few years. And I didn't because it just did not exist. And so now we find ourselves with a decision to make today. Will we continue to behave on the floor as if we were discussing the re-election for Congress in 08, or do we really want to send to the President's desk a bill that speaks to the needs of our community and securing our homeland? I represent the Bronx, New York City. I was in New York City on September 11th. I was not here with my colleagues. As I've said often, my son was running for the New York City Council on that day, and the election was cut off at 11 o'clock in the morning because of the terrorist attack, something no one writes about, that the terrorists were able to stop our electoral process in the biggest city in the nation around 11 a.m. The elections were run two weeks later. So I was there helping my son on election day, and I remember the pain and the horror that you all know about of seeing my city attacked. I take this bill personally 
very seriously. I take this bill as a member of Congress personally very seriously. This committee has taken this bill very seriously. This committee on a bipartisan basis takes protection and the safety of the homeland very seriously. Let's make sure that all members take it seriously. Let's pass the bill. What person, the gentleman from California, rise? Uh, strike the record.